The Fibonacci sequence has always attracted the attention of people since, as well as having special mathematical properties. Other numbers so omnipresent as those of Fibonacci cannot exist anywhere else in mathematics. They appear in geometry, algebra, number theory, in many other fields of mathematics, and even in nature. So let's find out together what it is. The Fibonacci sequence appears in nature because it represents structures and sequence that model physical reality. Here are the simple examples in which it is possible to find the Fibonacci sequence in nature. It is given by the number of petals of flowers. Most have three, like lilies and irises. Five, parnassia rose hips. Or eight, cosmia. Thirteen, some daisies. Twenty-one, chicory. 34, 55, or 89, Asteraceae. In animals, the Fibonacci sequence is observed in snails and in the chambered shell of Natalius, which is a logarithmic spiral, or in a starfish with its five arms. A human being has five digits on each hand, eight fingers total, and one thumb on each hand, all numbers that appear in the Fibonacci sequence. Concentric circles in nature refer circles that have same center but have different radii. The region between two concentric circles of different radii is called an annulus. This means the circles are all different sizes, one inside the other. A common example is in the ripple of a pen when something hits the surface of the water. But we also see concentric circles in the layer of an onion and the rings of trees that form as it grows and ages in spider web. Hexagon a regular hexagon has six sides of equal length, and this shape is seen again and again in the world around us. The most common example of nature using hexagon is a beehive, and do you know bees build their hives using tessellation of hexagon, and even snowflakes is also in the shape of a hexagon. Even a basalt, columns in the insect's eyes also a hexagon. Patterns seen in nature is surrounded with mystery of mathematics. These raft of bubbles form hexagon-like shapes when the bubbles are blown together and start adjoining to each other. Although some bubbles may have five or seven sides, most have six sides. It is regularly seen on the surface of soapy water. There are still many beautiful species that reflect hexagon designs, but one of it is the turtle. Their shell not only provides protection, but also contains hexagonal shapes. If you look closely, you can see that the entire shell is formed from individual subunits. A closer look further reveals that these cells have a shape resembling a hexagon. Dare to be amazed of the North Pole of Saturn. If you were to observe, you would see a cloud formation over the planet. And yes, the shape of it is a hexagon. Lastly, the giant causeway is famous for its awe-inspiring hexagonal stone plants built only by Mother Nature. The outer space was introduced in the early 1980s as a tool for studying the group out of outer automorphism of finitely generated free group. And it is also closely related to many other areas of mathematics, such as ranging from Konsevich graph homology theory to model forms, graphical geometry, and the mathematics of phylogenetic trees. It is a contractible space in which out acts with finite stabilizers and it is analogous to symmetric space with the action of non-uniform lattice or to the tech molar space of a surface with the action of surface mapping class group. And because outer space is not manifold, but some caution is needed when attempting to navigate. A metric theory of outer space based on a natural non Symmetric metric has begun to emerge in recent years. The resulting geometric point of view yields new information about out, as well as an elegant new proof and a better understanding of elder result, and it strengthens the analogy between outer space and classical theories of symmetric spaces and church outer space. Example. Astronauts use math in order to make precise mathematical calculations from how the spacecraft leaves Earth's atmosphere to how the astronauts pilot the craft. Designers use math to calculate distance, speed, velocity, and their own safety when creating space-faring vehicle. A fractal is a kind of pattern that we observe often in nature and in art. As Ben Wade explained, 
whenever you observe a series of patterns repeating over and over again at many different scales and where in any small part resembles the whole, that is called fractal. Approximate fractals are easily found in nature. This object displays self similar structure over an extended but finite scale range. Example include clouds, snowflakes, mountains, river, network, cauliflower, or broccoli, and system of blood vessels.